Hi, my name is Jill from High Water Tackle and Scientific Anglers Pro Staff. We're here today to talk about a couple of lines from Scientific Anglers 2018 lineup, as well as some lines that were around last year and some of my favorites that I've been using for the last little while. Uh, we got a couple spay lines in there and we also have a number of single hand lines for both our climate as well as some tropical uh, waters that if you head down for bonefish every once in a while, it's, you're really going to like them. We're just going to kind of go over and talk about the lines and what their applications are and some of the new features that have come out and how they're going to be really relevant to our fisheries here. Okay. So as spay fishing has become increasingly popular over the last decade here in the Lower Mainland and across the Pacific Northwest with the development of Skagit uh, style casting and Skagit style techniques, uh, we're starting to see a lot more developments in the spay world and the double-handed casting world and we have some really, really cool lines that are starting to come out and make it easier for the caster and make it really easy for people to get into it as well. Spay fishing is probably one of my favorite pastimes. I do it for both salmon and steelhead and I like it because the ease of casting, I can achieve quite a distance very easily and you can get out there and be really effective in water that you may not be able to reach with a single handed rod. So one of my personal favorites this year from the new 2018 lineup from Scientific Anglers is the new Freightliner Intermediate Spay Kit. This line is great for winter steel heading. It really slows the line down and it's perfect for fishing pocket water. This is an awesome line. It's very, very smooth for casting and you can get out there and be right in the right water as soon as you need to be. So the Freightliner kit comes with the line as well as a tip selection as well. Now the tips come in a variety of different sink rates to optimize for different conditions. Here in BC we have a lot of different winter steel hunting conditions and things can change pretty rapidly. Uh, the intermediate kit comes with an intermediate type 2 as well as a type 2 and type 4 as well as a type 3 and type 5 and as well as a type 7 also. These are perfect because you can just switch as the conditions change and you can really be effective in any kind of water. So different kinds of tips we're going to be using in different kinds of conditions. If you have heavy water on a day, maybe it's colored up a little bit or it's rained a lot, we have a type 7 that'll get your fly down relatively deep very, very quickly. Uh, we've also got probably my personal favorite. I like the type 2 and the type 4. It seems to work in a variety of conditions. Uh, used with a weighted or an unweighted fly depending on the scenario uh, as well as the type 3 and the type 5 if it's just a little bit heavier as well. Uh, having all these really lets you face anything and you can get out and really be a, a factor out there on the water without having to worry about the conditions changing too much. This is a very exciting new line from Scientific Anglers. This is the Deliverance Spay Kit and this is something that any beginner should really take a good look at. This line is unique in the sense that it has a head system and tips and the tips are all optimized to provide a consistent anchor point. So when you're casting, you don't have to adjust your stroke and it's a lot easier for newer casters to get out there and to get line out without having to adjust for a heavier sink tip or a heavier fly. The tip length varies depending on the length of the sink tip. So all the tips are different lengths as opposed to your typical uh, kit which may have tips that are all relatively the same length but the densities are a little bit different. This is perfect for a beginner spay caster or a spay caster that maybe goes out once or twice a year. I tried this line out today and it was awesome. It casts like a breeze and it was really really fun to get out there. I could see somebody that's a newer caster just have a great time with this without having to put in a ton of effort or to get frustrated with trying to turn over a heavy tip if you're not sure about where your anchor is supposed to be. This was a great line and I think anybody who is new to spay casting or just in the kind of beginner level should really really take a look at this. This system is very unique because the tips are optimized for the density. So as the sink tip length increases, so does the length of the overall tip. That's different than your regular sink tip or your regular spay tip because usually they're not density compensated where these ones are. So we have the rest of our floating line which will be a singular length and then the next one we have will have the, the tip on it that is a six foot tip. Now the overall length of this line is different than the length of the 10 foot tip. 
And the reason for that is to provide that consistent anchor point. So what that's gonna allow is for the caster not to have to adjust the stroke as much and be able to turn that tip over a lot easier. Uh, these are great tools and they're a lot of fun. So you get into the 13 foot tip and it's a lot shorter and that's gonna allow the caster to be able to go ahead and make that cast a lot easier. As Euro style or check nymphing has become increasingly popular in British Columbia and the Lower Mainland over the last couple years, Scientific Anglers has introduced a competition nymph line that's available in both a floating and a clear intermediate option. Now these are great, they're level lines, they're completely level, uh, you know, single diameter lines, so there's no taper in it, like a weight forward or a double taper line. This is one uniform piece. It has a monofilament core, which is great for detecting strikes and is a really, really nice option when you're trying to detect very small or very light bites. Along with the competition nymph line, Scientific Anglers has also come out with their cider tippet as well. I use this in about a two and a half foot section and it has two tones on it, so it's really easy for detecting strikes. You can build it and use it with tippet rings or you can use it with regular monofilament or build it any way you like. But the competition nymph line paired up with the cider tippet is the perfect rig for your Czech nymph or Euro nymph style setup. So one line we're seeing a lot of buzz about, and I think is gonna be very popular for upcoming lake season, is the new Stillwater Clear Camel line. This is a great lake line and probably going to be your new favorite. I had a chance to cast this line uh, last April and it was fantastic. It's super slick, it's got a great delivery, and it's just a lot of fun to cast without the memory of some of the more traditional clear intermediate lines which tends to coil at your feet and can be not a lot of fun or lines that you have to stretch. This has limited memory but is still a great, great tool for any lake fisherman. So I had an opportunity to cast this last year and it was absolutely fantastic. It turns over really well and it casts really well. With the reduced memory, it's just a great all around lake line. Now you can troll with it if you want, leeches or small scuds. Uh, you can do a very slow retrieve with it also. Uh, it works very well in very shallow waters and if you let it sink, it will get down into deeper waters. At a one and a quarter inches per second, it is a true intermediate and it will sink down, but it will get down to those depths if you need it to. Uh, I think this is gonna be a new favorite for a lot of people. It's a fantastic line. It's got a great color on it as well. And I think that this is gonna be definitely one of the hot lines we see for next year. Uh, the color tone on it, it's kind of got a quad color tone, it's got greens and grays and blues, so it matches really, really well with the bottom, and it's really a true camel line. Uh, it's clear throughout, it doesn't have a braided core like some other lines have, so it really maintains that clear, ultra, invisible lake series that we like to see. If you go down bone fishing maybe once, twice a year, or you head somewhere tropical and you wanna take a line, but you don't necessarily wanna spend top dollar on an ultra specific tropical line, Scientific Anglers has you covered. The new Frequency, which is a mid price point saltwater line, is a great, great tool if you're gonna go down south or even if you're gonna use up here. This is a multi weather and multi uh, uh, temperature line that can be used up here or down there, but it's a perfect alternative if you go down south and you take a fly rod and you want something that's gonna work in warm water climates, this is absolutely ideal. It's got a more aggressive front taper, so it is meant for punching through wind and turning over heavier flies through that wind. And it's just a great alternative. And I think it's gonna be a big favorite this year for people that are going down south that once again, don't wanna spend a ton of money on a line that you maybe only cast once or twice a year. The saltwater frequency line is very unique in that it still has a tropical color tone. So it is a light pale blue, uh, I think it's called Horizon, uh, which is perfect for tropical climates, uh, clear water and warm water scenarios. But once again, you could still definitely use this here uh, for say coho off the beach or if you're using it for pinks as well. So these have been some of my personal favorites, as well as some lines that I think are gonna be very applicable for the 2018 season. Scientific Anglers has done a great job in really designing and thinking about lines for our BC waters and for our BC fishing conditions, which are numerous and unique in their own right. If you have any questions about any of the lines you see here, 
or anything within the Scientific Anglers product line, feel free to come by anytime to the shop and have a chat. I've really enjoyed these lines and I think you'll really enjoy them as well.